Hi there, this is Dr. Delopo, and I'm going to make a short and sweet video today with my road dog, Bishop. And it is... Oh, see? Now you know what my kids and I listen to. So we're just going to talk about minute changes to um, accomplishing what you want every day. And I get this comment a lot from people that I do a lot. That I seem to have a lot of energy. I'm very grateful. I hear this from my patients. I hear this from my students. And it's just habits. It's small little habits. My husband shared with me um, atomic habits. And he was giving me the, the gist of it. I'm starting to listen to it. And I'll get the book. But I subscribe to that premise. Which is by the inch it's a cinch. By the mile it's a trial. So I just came from, I work today, and um, when you're self-employed, you also do a lot of marketing. I'm very grateful. This is my 24th year in my practice, and I hired um, five people this year, and prior to this year, for the last couple of years, I've been teaching acupuncturists worldwide, and it's quite fulfilling. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And so you can check out my work at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com and also at successfulacupuncturist.com. And um, going to my healing team, I hired each of them the moment I met them. So how can you do this when you know you have so much going on? One, when you're um, in a, when you embrace a leadership role, it's quite easy to make quick decisions based on your gut feeling your instinct and just knowing this is the right person I vetted them before they even came in so as a mom as a mother of three I have an 18 year old a 12 year old and a five year old I make quick decisions and um, I make decisions that are sound I believe and I also make decisions with the concept that um, I'm not going to make a mistake and if I do make a mistake then I'm just going to fix it in the future I don't um, do anal paralysis by analysis I've done that in the past and if I ever catch myself doing it I know it's not going to be beneficial at all um, I do do my research on things but the moment I feel like it's time I go a lot by my gut I go a lot by uh, how I feel and um, I'm more in my heart space than I am in my head space and so why am I making this video is because I hear this a lot from people like, how do you get things done? So everything I do is pretty efficient. Um, I'm an only child. I've always learned how to be efficient. Um, I, you know, making your space, your work environment conducive to even, even if you're not super tidy, you know where things are though. So obviously the tidier, the better, but sometimes, you know, you just know where things are and that's more important than just having this, you know, having everything perfectly in place, but then you're not motivated to do things. So one, if your work environment is conducive to accomplishing your goals. So say, for example, um, I graduated, this is my 24th year in practice, but I graduated my doctorate this year. I when 1998 is when I graduated with my master's in Chinese in traditional oriental medicine. Um, and when they started having the doctorate program, I didn't, um, I started having kids. So I had kids in 2004, 2010, and 2017. So having children also kept me very on top of things, being responsible and looking at, you know, what was most important, whatever was not important that day I put on the side. It's just something that I see leaders do, um, very effective mothers do. And when I say very effective mothers, I'm talking about mothers that don't have anxiety or have very little anxiety, able to, because when you're running a horse, uh, a house, you're like the CEO of your house. Um, you are the CEO of your house. And also I have, you know, my students that I teach and I also have my patients. So I have to make these executive decisions and know that whatever decisions I make, I'm not making a mistake. 
And if there is a mistake, I can handle it later as opposed to, oh, what if I do this? And then if this happens, and I see that a lot in my acupuncture practice, I see this analysis by paralysis. I see the worrying a lot and that is, um, completely not helpful so someone came in today i hadn't seen her since 2017 she said she calls me a soul sister i mean we can talk for hours and um she said she still remembers a lot of things that i shared with her before and then on friday in my hip-hop class i saw this woman and I said, God, she looks familiar. And she told me her first name. And I was like, oh, I knew her last name immediately. And she said, the things that I shared with her before still help her. And then I got an email from someone else. This is all within the last three days who said, you know, I still am so grateful for what you shared with me. And these are things that I've learned from my mentors. These are things that I learned from books. These are concepts that I learned from YouTube videos or some of the training that I receive on a personal development level. And it's being able to make quick decisions that are sound decisions and not um, overanalyzing things and wondering, is that a right thing? Is that a good thing? So here's an example. Um, this dog right here, Bishop, Bishop. He, um, first, you know, first of all, I've rescued many dogs and, uh, I had a friend back in 2000, well, in the early, late nineties until, um, oops, my music is just having its own mind. Um, so Benny started having Stavature Bull Terriers and my first two staffies, I showed them, I championed them and, um, it was a lot of fun. And then my late Pikachu, um, she scored the highest level on her, cert, uh, the highest tier uh, certified therapy dog program. And the woman who had a PhD, she looked at me before we left and she said, I just wanna let you know I never gave the highest score um, during the first try. And so here I am thinking I'm on the dog whisperer and then this dude comes around, long story short, you know, he's an amazing guard dog. But since he was three, no one's ever really paid attention to him because no one's been given the opportunity to see him because he's been aggressive to humans and um, dogs. I hired three people and um, it just didn't help. So anyways, he's nine. Before he turned nine years old, uh, someone I know, we'll call her Jay, she tells me about the ulcer that she had because of her dogs. She tells me uh, that she hired this guy and the dog dot guru you can't just hire this guy you have to um go you'd have to contact me or go through his website and you have like two minutes once a month to sign up so if you want to get a hold of this guy let me know and then i'll give you his info and i'll, I'll you know speak highly for you anyways sixteen hundred dollars two hours within an hour and a half hour and a half later he was in dog park playing with dogs and now I can hang out. I mean, we still have some work to do, but his correction on a scale of one to 10 is maybe between a one to a three. And so he barely needs any correction these days. We can go to dog park, he can walk around and we leave about five, 10 minutes later. And um, we walk at Irvine Spectrum and he's cool. I just tell people no touch, no eye contact, but that's a lot different than where we used to. By the way, when we were in dog park, he's off leash. So when I made the, why do I share this? When I made the decision to spend the $1,600 to train him, my dog, my other dog died and I'm like, I don't want him just lying around the house. He needs to be able to socialize. And that guy, Brad, taught me how to be very efficient. He used every minute, appropriately and we got the results because results are all that matters which is going to be the name of my next newsletter for my acupuncture practice by the way i'm going to share it this week when you are making quick decisions that are sound decisions and you are not ruminating and right wow that is hilarious my i'm just pressing buttons when you are in this space where you just know you're making the right decision. You're not going to second guess yourself. I see a lot of that in my practice where, you know, there's a lot of going back and forth and being upset and resentful and I'm not happy with this. And that's going to eat away at you. The body follows the mind, the mind follows the spirit. If you can go with your gut instinct, I say this a lot to people, my students and my patients, when they say, what should I do? I tell them, I'm not going to give you the answer. You're going to lie down 
and you're just going to let the answer come to you. And whatever you're at peace with, that's what you should consider doing. And I could just give them the answer, but then if I give them the answer, they don't work through it, then I become their guru, and that's not what it's all about. It's about you coming to your own conclusion and going, you know, making decisions for yourself that work best for yourself. So in essence, this video is really for my patients, and a lot of you are women. And I'm not talking to, you know, I may be talking to some girls who are in their 20s or maybe your 30s, but I'm really talking to women who have children, you know, maybe you're in your 30s, but maybe especially if you're 40s and over, I'm turning 49 this month. And we have to, you know, be more efficient with our lives. We, we can't just, um, you know, we don't have all this time in the world to, you know, play on social media, you know, every moment counts. And so for me, my moments count. I have an 18 year old, a 12 year old and a five year old. These, every decision counts, every moment counts. And so when I'm meditating, I'm fully meditating. When I'm hanging out with my dog, I'm fully hanging out with my dog. When I'm at work, I'm fully at work. When I'm engaging with someone, I'm fully engaging. So I hope that helps you understand how I accomplish things. Um, I'm gonna really break this down for my Happy Club members, uh, but I thought I would share this for the majority of my patients. You will get so much out of life if you just not think too much and you just do and you just um, are at peace with the decisions you make and you will spend a lot less time uh, ruminating. All right. I hope that helps. Elements in Harmony, acupuncture.com. And for those of you who are acupuncturists and if you want to be you know, quote unquote mentored by me, check out my work at successfulacupuncturist.com. I think it's important to be very, very, you know, efficient in life. It is 10.07. Mondays are some of my longer days. I worked and I went to the gym. I promised myself 10 minutes. 10 minutes leads to longer. But if I'm there for 10 minutes, I'm cool with it. Um, Everything for me result, revolves around jujitsu. I don't really like to work out. I don't really like to, you know, do weights and stuff like that. But I do the weights for jujitsu. I do hip hop for jujitsu. I do my cardio for jujitsu. So when you have a purpose and you know what you want to accomplish, it's so much easier. By the inch, it's a cinch. By the mile, it's a trial. So those are, and then. Yeah, you know, I worked out and now I'm charging my car and then I'm going to go home. So not every day is like this. This is my Monday. And um, it's this is also how I don't burn out. I have a lot on my plate. I also read a lot and I do a lot of writing. And I'm, you know, I have also this new thing that I just learned from Atomic um, Habits. And I'm going to keep my violin next to my bed because... If I, my violin is next to my bed, I'm going to practice my violin. But if my violin is away from me, I consistently do not play my violin. So I'm going to start doing that. So one more thing before I go. I remember him talking about in the book, Atomic um, Habits, that um, when you have a place, one place to do one thing. When I was in my doctorate program and also when I was in my master's program in the 90s, but recently for my doctorate, I cannot do homework at my work. If I was forced to, I would, but work is work. I could do a lot of work on my bed. I know people say, don't do any work on your bed, but at home, I don't have an office. I have a 1600 square foot office. I don't have an office in my bed. For some reason, I can easily sleep on my bed and also do some work on my computer in my bed, and I have no problem going to sleep. There's no TV in my bedroom. Um, so when it comes to doing actual work work, I, for school, I would actually go to a cafe and I can completely concentrate. So that's also how I'm able to, um, you know, be very efficient is this place is for what I do here. This place is for what I do here. This place is for what I do here. So that's another way to be very efficient. All right. Have a great night. I hope that helped. Take care.